Ewan, my good friend. How are you today? I'm good, thanks, Emily. How are you? I'm fantastic. Thanks for asking. Thank you so much for agreeing to be part of this interview. The reason I'm very excited about interviewing you is because A, you're a videographer, you run your own business, which is called Genghis Twan, and you do a lot of work with videography, not just in the music industry, but other sectors as well. Mm -hmm. But you're also an indie musician, so and you play with the lyrical, so you've got a really good perspective on both of those things. So I want to ask you now if you could share something else that I might not know about you. I do a shitload of yoga and I'm an actual boat person refugee. Wow, that's amazing. Today I want to talk to you about the importance of having quality product for an indie musician. Um, so what would you say to indie artists out there who maybe have some old, outdated content online that doesn't necessarily reflect who they are now? What would you say to them? Would, should they be getting rid of it? Or? The basic rule is if it doesn't sound good, then get rid of it. If it's got less than whatever amount of views you feel is precious to you, get rid of it. Yeah, because they're not selling themselves as an act, are they? That's right. And um, yeah, they're better off just kind of, mm. you know, making sure that everything that's up reflects, you know, the top quality that they have. It doesn't need to like look amazing, amazing, but just sounds amazing is good. Cool. So look, I want to just uh, make one other point today. Um, because you're a musician as well, what? how important is it to actually have a quality product as well, like quality music? It's not just about having great content, is it? Uh, nowadays, especially, it is about performing. So uh, having you know, a strong performance on stage, having a great live act and, and bringing the energy and, and having fun at the end of the day. Like what's, you know, like you're up there because, you know, one, it makes you feel good. Two, you get to share it and yeah, just enjoy the moment really like, I mean, your music's not gonna appeal to everyone um, and you know, find your fans and believe in your music. Uh, you know, we live in an age where our music can be heard worldwide. Like uh, we have this weird, crazy following in like Sweden, who knows who could listen to you, you know? And it's really important to conquer the small market too. Like. Mm. Um, you know, smash it out on community radio and, and build your fan base locally as well in that way, you know, like there's always going to be someone who likes your music. Well, look, if we could sum up what we've talked about today, what would be a key takeaway point for indie artists out there in terms of talking about the importance of having a quality product, whether that be a great idea, a great energy, a great performance or just a fantastic looking video, whatever it may be, what would you say is the greatest kind of point to take away today? Uh, the greatest point, oh, have fun, because that fun is infectious, you know, that, that's, that's it, just enjoy your craft, um, enjoy developing it, and you, you never stop learning, it's, that's where the gold's at. Look, I'm going to ask you a quick question now, a bit of a fun one. If you were stuck on a desert island for the rest of your life and could only take one album, what album would it be? It would have to be Black Alicious Blazing Arrow. Uh, that, that was like one of the first hip hop albums where I started listening to where I was like, oh wow, there's a conscious community out there and, and they're spitting rhymes and, um, and it, feel, it was music that was really inspiring for me. I was like in my early 20s and uh, it was just, a, I just really needed it at that point in time in my life. And, um, and that album is full of special guests from uh, Zach De La Roca, Saul Williams, Ben Harper, yeah, I love that album. That's I'll take that with me for sure. I could definitely yeah. see myself enjoying that album yeah. on a desert island as well. <laughs> Thanks so much, Tuan. You're an amazing wealth of information. I mean, You're it's been a pleasure to work with you. And um, oh, likewise, yeah, Anne. Very much yeah. appreciate and it. Thank you, Phoenix. <laughs> Behind the camera there. Thank I wish you. Wish we could get a shot of him. Mm. <laughs> Maybe we should. Yeah, Phoenix. This is my son, Phoenix. Over here, so you're, you're, in, you're in focus. Yeah, man. <laughs> Camera crew, high fives. <laughs>